Okay, so um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, recreate this kind of effect. We look, we've been looking at um, the photography of Tracy Griffin, um, and she creates these um, sort of mirrored um, floating trees, um, which look very much like those kind of um, the Rorschach um, sort of psychology tests, where you look at like the ink splotches and uh, you're meant to say what you see in them. Um, so we've been looking at her. Um, I'm going to show you how we can go about doing that um, on Photoshop. And uh, what I've done, I've gone ahead and downloaded this free stock image from pexels.com. Um, so we're going to use this one. So the very first thing I do is I always um, duplicate the background layer um, by pressing Command and J um, on a Mac or Control and J if you're on a PC. Um, you can also um, right click and you can duplicate layer that way as well. Um, and the reason I do that is so that we've got that image back here and it's locked so that if um, the edits that I do to it I'm not happy with or I've done something incorrectly um, I can always go back and I've got that first layer locked away safely to, to reuse again. Okay so for now what I'm going to do I'm just going to hide it so that we are only seeing this upper layer so if I hid that one that's all you would see. Um, so I'm just going to hide that for now. Um, now what I'm going to do I'm going to use the, um, the selection tool and I've got um, the rectangular marquee tool here and I'm going to select um, as close as I can, maybe like half of the tree shape, like so. Um, now, I may just adjust that, I think. We'll do Command D to deselect that, actually. I'm going to just bring that in slightly um, so that I'm not basically getting this lower trunk part. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to imagine if um, this half here that I'm selected, I'm trying to imagine it also mirrored and flipped onto this side. Um, so I'm just trying to imagine where this um, tree line here would stop and then be um, replicated on the other side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press um, uh, Command C in order to copy that part and then I do Command V in order to paste it. And if we look down here, you can see I've got a new layer with um, that half just on the layer. And if I hide the layer underneath, you can see it looks a little bit like that. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm now going to um, try to flip this so that it now become, comes onto this half and then I'm going to make the lower layer visible so that the, um, the tree underneath then is also seen as well. So if I go to um, edit and transform I should be able to press flip horizontal and there we go, it's flipped like that as well. Um, and if I use the selection tool, I can now move it onto this half of the image. And then if I make the bottom layer visible again, you can see how um, I flipped it. Now I'm not totally happy with where that's um, been posi positioned. So I'm just going to move it over slightly. I'm going to try to eradicate the, um, I'm trying to eradicate this bit of trunk here where it's quite clear that the tree is obviously attached to the ground. If we look here in some of Tracy Griffin's stuff, you can see that the trees are mostly kind of floating in midair. So I'm just going to move this half over so that we've got a bit of clear bit of sky here. Um, and now what I might do is, because I don't think this line is totally halfway, I think this half looks a little bit wider, I'm now going to um, crop the entire image ever so slightly. And I could do it a bit more um, accurately than this. I'm just going to use, do it by eye. And I'm just going to see where this midline sort of comes. Maybe a little bit more. So this mid midpoint here, look, is dead, sort of dead centre in that tree. So that would mean that maybe this half should be the same width then as that half. So I'm going to crop it like that. And there we go. There's my image. That's how we do a Tracy Griffin um, mirrored floating tree effect. Um, really quick and easy. Um, I hope that's useful for you.